Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. This is Sas de Malanta, your Manila Millennial, and today we have another unboxing video. So, hindi smartphone or smartwatch yung bubuksan natin today, kundi ang newly released Huawei MateBook D14. So, if you want to see the laptop inside this box, just keep watching. So, let's start by looking at the box. So, this is very convenient to bring since it has that handle. Not a lot of laptop boxes have this. And if you look at the left side of the box, you can find the model name. So, that's Huawei MateBook D14 Notebook. The color, CPU, GPU, RAM, and so on. The main specs that you need to know when you purchase a laptop. So, this is in Mystic Silver. Let's see what's inside. Let's open it now. Magano na siya as is with the box. Natanggal ko na actually yung sticker para mas madali i-open now. Let's see. So inside you will find a quick start guide and if I'm not mistaken, it has to come with the warranty card as well. Okay, we have the quick start guide and the warranty card. Make sure to keep that since it's going to be helpful if you need repairs for your laptop. So before we check out the main item inside, let's bring this out first. So inside the box, you'll find the charger. It's USB Type-C, but you'll need an adapter to be able to connect this to an outlet. And you have the cable. Let's bring it out. So as you can see, it's already Type-C from end to end. And what I like about this kind of charger is that you can also use it for other devices. So in my case, my phone is already using USB Type-C, so I can use that for that as well. Now, let's take a look at the Huawei MateBook D14. And it's powered by Ryzen 7 CPU. Okay, so it's a plastic. Here, you'll find a sticker which reminds you where to find the charger in case may mga hindi makapansin while unboxing the item. Let's remove the plastic. Ooh. So, you can see na pagka-silver ng laptop. Actually, let's fix the items first. So, this is the Huawei MateBook D14. It's a 14-inch laptop powered by AMD Ryzen 7 CPU with AMD Radeon RX Vega 10 graphics. So, you can find the sticker below actually if you want to verify those details. And for me, this is quite light already since this is even lighter than the current laptop that I'm using. So, according to the box, it's only 2 kilograms. So, if you look at the edges, actually, medyo sharp pa siya. It's not that curved compared to the average laptop. But, I like the look. At the sides, you can find the ports, which is, of course, very important. So, here you have the USB port and then the audio jack. And on the left side, you'll find the USB Type-C port, another USB port, and... That is for HDMI. So let's open the laptop now. Oh, so it comes with this plastic. It shows you the location of the webcam and the fingerprint scanner. So part of my first impressions is that it has a smooth keyboard. It's matte-like. And I feel like this is the type of keyboard that won't get oily over time. Kasi may mga ganong laptops, diba? Like, if you use it for a long period, it tends to become kind of oily and icky. I don't get that impression with this one. It also has a Huawei Share sticker here. You can see here. So, this is where you need to put your mobile phone in order to connect it to your laptop and access it via laptop. Yun yung maganda doon kasi you can control two devices in just one. I also like that the trackpad is wide even though it's just 14 inches. Which is good because I use my laptop in editing videos and photos. So, yeah, this is gonna be helpful. The MateBook B14 has thinner bezels than the average laptop. So, that's more screen space than the laptop that I'm currently using. So it's a plus. You can also tilt the screen up to 180 degrees like that without it breaking. It kind of looks like a tablet in this form, but um, take note that it's not a touch screen. I think this is going to be helpful for those who like to work while lying down. Because, you know, you can sit and then you can put the screen like that. I also like how the screen looks like. It's thin and it's not bulky. But for you to better appreciate the things that I'm saying, here's a quick B-roll with the main specs. 
Okay, enough intro. Let's dig in. your voice or the keyboard along the way, and if you'd like me to stay quiet, just select the little microphone icon towards the bottom of your screen. I'm happy that the webcam is now hidden, so I won't need to put a sticker or something anymore, but I'm not 100% sold on the angle, since the angle that it's at now can make your face look bigger during video meetings. And you won't be able to type since I can already sense that my fingers would be blocking the view if I do that. I love the fingerprint sensor though and I'm happy that Huawei already has that in this laptop. Although they do have that feature in previous releases as well, but not all. So I'll have to set up this laptop first before giving my full review about the Huawei MateBook V14. If you want to see that, just go to manilamillennial.com and give us a like on Facebook. That's facebook.com slash manilamillennial for update. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button for our YouTube page. That's youtube.com slash sesdemalanta. Thank you so much for watching. See you again in the next one. Bye!